Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, today I have Gabrielle Boucher on the line, and she's co-founder over at The Purpose Company and also author of the upcoming book, The Purpose Factor, Extreme Clarity for Why You're Here and What to Do About It. Gabrielle, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, man, so uh, I love, love, love doing book episodes. I'm excited to get into your new book, The Purpose Factor. Um, But before we do that, uh, let's give the audience a little bit more on your background. So tell us a little bit more about The Purpose Company, please. We founded The Purpose Company to help people discover their purpose, plain and simple. So whether they were a student exiting uh, a season of their life, whether they were an employee trying to figure out what was next, whether they were considering whether they wanted to write a book or start a company or start a podcast, helping people discover their purpose and get extreme clarity about that and then apply it to what they do every day, we thought that that was the most important thing that anybody could be pursuing. But we created a company called The Purpose Company, where that's where we do every single day, help people find purpose and apply it to their work. Man, what a great concept. And uh, what I like is that you're so focused, and it's like, it's like one of those things where you're like, people are struggling, people want to learn, and the thing is, you're like, okay, so how do I find my purpose? Oh, let me call the purpose company. <laughs> they can help. They work. That's all they do. So I, I love what you're doing here, and um, I think this is great, um, a great uh, transition. So let's just dive right into your book. So The Purpose Factor, Extreme Clarity for Why You're Here and What to Do About It. Um, so what was the inspiration for this? So I wrote the book with my husband, Brian, who's also the co-founder of the company with me, because early on in our careers, everyone just kept telling us to find our purpose, find our purpose. And they all said it was important to find, but never told us how to actually do it. And so we thought something as important as purpose should have a process. So we spent about seven years collecting information from ancient philosophers, popular religions, even modern motivators, and came up with a four-step system to be able to discover your purpose. And so that's what we reveal in the book is the exact system to find your purpose and the three-part application process of how to use that purpose to experience more fulfillment and get more clarity and frankly, understand how your life and your work matters. So in your experience, um, what are some of the reasons that you feel that many people just kind of fall short from, like, whatever that is, making that connection towards their overall purpose? And I don't want, I know we're, we're generalizing a little bit. It's going to be different for everybody. But like you said, you've been working on this for seven years. Like, you, you've, you spent a lot of time on this. So comment some, like, themes tend to arise. What do you think kind of holds people back sometimes? I think a big part is the should, should do's and supposed to's. So we grow up with a list of things that we're supposed to do, like we're supposed to go to college, we're supposed to get a job, we're supposed to buy a house. We have all of these expectations that are oftentimes either um, unwritten or unspoken, and we use these expectations and these silent rules to to, uh, shape our entire lives. But that isn't what living your purpose is all about. Living your purpose is understanding who you are and you can help. We define purpose as what you have inside of you to help other people. And so when you get clarity about your purpose, you understand whether you should take that next job, switch um, opportunities, launch the company, write the book. You get more clarity about what's next rather than just going through the motions, waking up one day and realizing the last seven years or the last 17 years was really like a groundhog day of the same day over and over again. The only way to stop the crazy cycle of living the same day in the same year over again is to discover your purpose and understand how you can use it to help more people. Can you share with us one of the stories that you um, that you that just kind of stick out from you from the from the book? It doesn't have to be your favorite. I know it's impossible to ask somebody to choose between their favorite, but just what, a, something that gives the audience a flavor for what to expect when they read. Yeah, one of the stories that we share is from one of our retreats that we have at the Purpose Company. We had a young woman named Grace who came in who she had an okay job. She was, um, you know, doing okay kind of by society standards, but she knew there was something inside of her that she was like, I know that there's more 
that I'm supposed to do. I have potential, which is this power word we use. So Grace came to our retreat and um, discovered her purpose, got extreme clarity. And it wasn't just her purpose that Grace needed. Grace needed permission. She needed permission to actually use her purpose. And so what we found was she left the event within a matter of weeks. She had left her job, which isn't always what we suggest. We always kind of do that caveat. We're not telling you to always quit your job, but in her instance, she did. She left her job and she got um, an incredible opportunity where she's now um, getting her master's at Oxford. She's working for the United Nations and she's finally feeling fully optimized rather than trying to have little moments where she felt like she was giving back. Now, every single day, she she um, feels like she's just fully on fire, fully fulfilled, and fully able to, to utilize her purpose. And I think that's kind of the, the secret of the purpose factor is when you know your purpose, you feel compelled to be able to use it, and it really becomes a, a guiding light to help you make decisions and get clarity about your future. Man, that is so exciting. I love it. And what what a great story. And I, I love that you, you say, you know, say everybody go quit their job. We got pair of pills. We got to do other things. We still live in reality. I love a reality-based um, book and company because I feel like sometimes um, it, it's baby steps, right, to go down this path of finding your purpose and what you feel that connection is for you. Sometimes people need those big changes. Sometimes people, you know, have a different aptitude for change and they need they need to take a different path. It, that's exactly right. And how we view it is that that purpose is vocation agnostic. You don't need to mm. switch jobs to use your purpose. You don't need more degrees. You don't need to live in a different location. You don't need to have a different platform or more followers to use your purpose. You're fully equipped and fully prepared to use your purpose right now where you're at. And all you need to do is get clear about those four different elements of your purpose and how you can help others with what you have inside of you. That's awesome. Um, so, Gabrielle, final question. So, two-part question. Uh, so, number one, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about the Purpose Company, what are typically the right types of clients, companies, and or just the right type of fit that you found are typically um, work well with uh, you and your team over at the Purpose Company, number one? Number two, um, how do people pick up your book and also connect with the brand overall? Yeah, well, thanks, Adam. So the most of our the people who work with us are in a position where things are going okay for them, but they know that there's something d- deeper. They know that there's something bigger. They wonder if they should start a podcast, switch careers, start a company, become a consultant. They're looking to figure out what's next in their life. And so they come to us because they're looking to have a system of thinking and deciding on the future. And discovering your purpose is a big component of that. We also work with a subgroup of people who things are, again, going okay, but they feel like, you know what, there's more to life. I want to feel more fulfilled in what I do. So even if they don't start something new, switch jobs, make that big change like you would mentioned, they just want to know that what they do matters. They're searching for significance. And so we give people a system through our virtual experience called Purpose Mastery where people get that extreme clarity about who they are and who they can help. If people are listening and they want to go ahead and pre-order the book, they can go to PurposeFactorBook.com. We're really stoked about the book. We've got some amazing endorsements like Brian Tracy and Tony Dungy and even The Rock has come out and and supported our book. And I think it's just a, a, a real telltale sign that this concept of purpose is beyond just looking to a sunset, hoping your life has meaning, wandering through life, hoping that at one point someone tells you that your life matters. Purpose can be found through a system of of simple but achievable steps. If you take the time, dig into it, your purpose is achievable and your purpose is discoverable. Man, that's awesome. I, I love what you're doing. I love the concept, and I know you're help, you have already helped a lot of people, and you're going to continue to do so. So awesome and happy to bring this to the audience. And uh, just to re, just to repeat, to, to uh, pre-order that book, it's PurposeFactorBook.com. Definitely go pre-order that and uh, support, and uh, and the book looks amazing. So um, congrats on all of that, Gabrielle. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Gabrielle, thanks again for coming on the show.